Hi Dresser Cooties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a dessert creep. So let's get started. To draw this very yummy dessert, let's first start by drawing two curves for the top of our creep. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw one curve. And this one's going to be smaller. And then about right there, I'm going to draw another one much longer, much bigger. But it's all going to be at the same level. So about right here, I'm just going to come down. Another curve and I just want to make sure I'm going to drag this point across. Say about right here. So that I make sure I'm ending at the same level as my first curve. There. So just two of these curves. From there, I'm going to bring this down. We're going to start to create the body of our creep. And notice as I draw down, it's kind of at a curve. It's not very straight. I'm just trying to make it a little bit rounder so it's um, softer and cuter. So then from there, I'm going to find the center. So say about right here, approximate. And I'm going to drag it down to say about approximately how long I want my creep to be. So I'll say about right here and I'll just give myself a point. This way I kind of know where I'm going with my angles. So I'm going to bring this down and work on this side first. And I'm just going to work towards this point at a soft curve. So as I come down here, I'm going to give it a little bit of a curve at the end, but right there. And same thing here. So just aim towards your point. So this is if you're drawing big, these points help you to see where you're going. But if you're drawing small, you probably don't need to do this. So here we go. Let's connect it at the bottom. Nice and soft right there. So it's like drawing an ice cream cone, but it has these two grooves. <laughs> then from there, let's see here. Let's see what we should do first. Let's come in to this area. This about right here at the top and I'm going to draw a curve. Well, actually, you know what? Sorry. Let's work on this side first. So I say about right here. I'm going to start and I'm going to draw a curve going down. So this is the paper that's wrapped around the bottom of our creep. And I'm going to drag this across approximately about right here to draw the other side of the paper. So about right here, we're just going to curve it in there. So you just want to make it look like it's paper wrapped around our creep. And then from there, we can go ahead and bring this curve in. So that's why we're drawing this curve right here. And as I bring it in, I'm going to make it come out more. Just keep that in mind so we have room to put our eyes. So I'm just going to pop it out more as much as I can and then just bring it in there. So I just give myself enough room for the eyes or draw so cute eyes. <laughs> there. So then from there, let's um let's fill it up first before we draw the eyes. So I'm going to come out right here in between these two curves and I'll start with one big scoop of ice cream or whatever you want to put in here, the mochi bowl. But this is just meant to inspire you. And then I'm going to draw another big scoop of ice cream comes down to about right here and then I'm just going to give it a little curve and tuck it right in. Then from there, let's add some strawberries on the side. So I'm going to come about right here and I'm going to add, come to a soft point and bring it in. So this is a strawberry that's been cut and another one. Let's add another one about right here and bring it in. And let's see here. Then in this area, let's add some uh, wafer rolls. So about right here, I'm going to come down so it's easier for my hand. And I'm going to draw two wafer rolls. So curve and I'm just going to follow whatever angle I drew. And then one more. Say about right here. A slightly different angle and shorter just to change it up. And in there. And then in the center, since we have room, I'm going to add a dollop of cream, of course, right? So let's go about right here and we're going to curve to a sharp point and then bring it down and in. 
then let's see here. I can come in here lightly. Just add a curve to give our cream some texture. Our wafer as well, just lightly. Same thing here. And maybe our strawberry as well. I'm just going to lightly come into the center here and draw the same curve we drew for the outside. And on your ice cream, you can put sprinkles or you can, I'm just going to put a little drizzle. So I'm going to come in here and thicken it up. There. And one more. Can't wait to see how you decorate your creep or what you put in your creep. But they're just so yummy. <laughs> okay, so there, I got some drizzle. Caramel or chocolate or strawberry perhaps on our ice cream. And then now that we have that, let's finally bring it to life. So I'm gonna come into this area. Now that we have enough space, I'm gonna stay about right here. And I'm going to add a big circle for some draw so cute eyes. Come across about right here and draw the other eye. There. Now my two circles in. I'll come in here with two smaller circles for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. There. Now with my eyes in, let's come to the top of each eye. I'm just going to draw a soft curve. And then in between the eyes, let's draw a sweet smile with a tongue sticking out because creeps are super yummy. And cap it off. <laughs> there. And last but not least, you can decorate your paper however you like. I'll see what I do when I color it. But let's add a heart right here in the bottom and center to make this my draw so cute dessert creep. I really hope you had fun drawing this with me today and that I made it fun and easy. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.